guys today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and more fun in spite or in light of all this like ponds over here i'm actually going to be showing you guys how to build a hand line or at least i'm going to try to build a hand line here i've never actually tried to do this so i have no idea if this is going to work out well or if it's going to utterly fail but i have an idea in my mind on how to build a hand line for fishing and i'm going to see how well it turns out and if it works out well, we're gonna at least throw it in the water. There's actually no fish in these waters because yeah, this is just Alaska. So there's no fish in these waters. So we're not gonna be catching anything, unfortunately, but I'm gonna at least show you guys the functionality. And that's what all this line here is, in case you guys are wondering uh, what all this line is. This is uh, inner, in case you guys are wondering what this actually is, this is the inner, one of the inner strands of paracord. And I'm just gonna be using this for this fishing line and why this piece of note paper here is actually just to protect this fish hook that I made. And when we get finished here, I'll show you guys more closely of how I made this fish hook and uh, this fly that is on this fish hook. It's actually a pretty cool thing. Anyways, that is what that is. I just wanted to put that on here <clears throat> so that... So anyways, guys, let's jump into this. But before we jump into this, please do not forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. So to quickly show you guys what I'm going to be using, once again, this is extremely experimental, but the materials I'm going to be using for this build are just this piece of, uh, this is actually a piece of birch. And for this piece of birch, I cut it, or batoned it rather, down to about a half inch to maybe three quarter inch. So it's a little thick, but it's not too thick for it to be unrealistically cut down and you know opened up in this area. And yeah, I just batoned that down. As far as the two tools we'll be using, I'm gonna be using an Ambush Knives Alpha, and I'm gonna be using the all from here if I need to. I Once again, I'm very new to this. I didn't even look up any videos on how to make a hand line, so there are probably some videos, but I was thinking of just drilling, just starting out just drilling with this awl to uh, get a hole going and then work with the knife as I see fit. guys that's where we have to leave this for now I've gotten quite a bit of work done here I'm going to continue to work on it but for the I'm going to follow up this video in another day so for now that's it but let's for you guys let's move to the next part so guys so picking up where we left off I actually pretty much just decided to finish this uh, hand line here. So I'm gonna be going over what exactly I did to finish this hand line and overall how it turned out. So the earlier uh, showing was pretty accurate of what I did and essentially I used the Ambush Alpha slash the Leatherman Surge with its awl. And what I did was with the awl, I drilled around five or six holes throughout this area, you guys can see here. And then I used the Ambush Alpha to come through and kind of bust out to those holes. Like I put the holes really close to each other so they have thin walls that I could bust down with the alpha. And so I essentially made a very small channel with the alpha, like just large enough to accommodate the alpha's thickness. And then what I came with in and did, and essentially was, what I did was, is I just pretty much just carved down like this. Hope you guys can see pretty well. Uh, this is basically what I did. You know, I just carved down on these sides, both the up and down sides. I did that for two reasons. One, obviously to make enough room so you can put your fingers in here. And two, the alpha slash drill that I was using left this area kind of rough. So the Eldris was able to go in and really kind of clean up the area that was left really rough from the earlier. So that was pretty much how I made this handhold. As you guys can see there, that is where you grip this hand line and cast out. 
Uh, so now on to the part with the line you guys can see here. So I don't, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the earlier part of the video or not, but essentially I had pretty basic plans for the hand line and uh, where I'd place it. So all I did was I just batoned in two V notches, one on this side and one on this side. And then I just used this to string it around. But before I did that, I did one other thing and it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but on this side, yeah, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but it is pretty basic. So on this side, pretty close to the V notch, I drilled another hole with the awl and I used that hole to tie in at the very bottom, like at the very beginning of this uh, whole string here. I used that to make a little knot so that when you threw this, the, the line could extend all the way out without um, fear of the line just like falling off the hand line. So that's what I did there and that's how I affixed this line so that now this line is a part of this entire system. So without any further ado guys, let's go over to the lake. Once again, there's no fish in this lake, so I'm not gonna be fishing with this, but I just wanted to show you guys basically how it works. <clears throat> okay guys, so now let's try to cast. Now I'm actually at a pretty good lake. Keep in mind there's no fish in this lake, like most lakes here in Alaska. There's really not any fish in this one. And so I'm not really gonna be able to catch anything, but it's more just for example. And keep in mind, there is a pretty strong wind, so if this thing gets blown around, I should have put a little bit more weight on it, so this might not go too well. Uh, and this is as close as I can get to the water. It may not look like it. This is really as close as I can get, so. So you guys can see there, that was pretty okay. One thing I will note about using paracord, or this is an inner strand of paracord, I want you to use the inner strand of paracord here because I want to show this like as a full survival setup. If all you had on you was paracord, you know, at a knife and all, or you know, a couple knives and all, you could totally make a hand line that you could fish with. But if you can at all help, try and use something like monofilament line because one of the problems with paracord and its inner strands like these is because it's a fabric material, uh, it will time. And so what that means is as this fabric material gets wetter and wetter, it gets heavier and heavier. And so it gets harder to throw it out and you know make it land like in the middle of that pond as opposed to a monofilament line that just doesn't really get soaked. So that's something to keep in mind when uh, using a line like this. You could definitely do that, but it's not recommended for long-term use. So anyways, guys, there is a you know usable, very basic hand line in how to make it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And as always, that's it for now. I'm out.